say um yeah so it's like five o'clock on tuesday and i'm gonna try to be positive in this vlog it's probably not gonna come off very positive though i'm sorry so <sighs> okay big sigh um as some of you know i had a doctor's appointment today with my surgeon that had done my original endoscopy which is when they found my hiatal hernia so finally i was able to meet with her and she is just an awesome person but anyway uh we went over a bunch of things we did like a big questionnaire together all of that stuff and unfortunately i am not able to have the hiatal hernia surgery um reason why is because the medications that i've been on to not correct it but like all the acid reducers and acid blockers aren't like totally doing their job uh the success rate is extremely low um for a person that isn't having success with like the oral medications so um clearly we don't want to have unnecessary surgery that's that's nuts that being said I do have another option and let's talk about the option like the uh, me talking about this is like mm, I don't know it just it makes me feel weird um, just like I'm prefacing that right now so some people are gonna be like super agree with it and some people are gonna be like absolutely not you shouldn't do that to your body blah 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 okay so here we go here's my other option weight loss surgery I know it's extreme um the way that my surgeon explained it to me though was if you go in for uh, like a weight loss surgery and let me look it up the specific one that she had suggested that i would be a candidate for would be the gastric bypass and the reason why a bypass would be the best option for me is that um so when they go in they actually fix your hernia they'll they'll fix it not a problem they'll just fix it up and then they section off your stomach and then they bypass your intestine um because then you know your your intestine is you know not being properly used so they actually like cut a portion of your intestine and then they like kind of plug it in to the section of stomach that you would then be using for the rest of your life so Here's the thing, um, because of the intestine actually kind of pulling down on your stomach, if you will, I know that sounds really weird, um, but it's because your stomach isn't as long anymore, it's like really short, it's actually very, very small, that helps the hiatal hernia not come back because it's actually kind of pulling down on um, everything in a weird jumbled up way. Um, but here's the other problem my insurance doesn't cover this at all like zero percent and not till just my deductibles met it's zero percent so i was looking online and clearly online is like you know there's a huge amount of difference and you know, surgery can cost anywhere from like $5,000 to like upwards of like $30,000. And I'm not mad at the money. I'm just like pretty peeved about my specific insurance doesn't cover it. Doesn't cover it. Even though there has been research done that this actually helps people in my position with a hiatal hernia that doesn't respond to oral medications. Um, I'm gonna make an appointment with my like regular general doctor. See, trying to be positive. It's not working. Um, like I'm just trying not to be like angry about this. Like, I, yeah, I'm disappointed, but I'm like, anger serves no purpose. You know, pur purpose? <laughs> anger serves no purpose, like in life. I, I mean, maybe for a little bit whatever but like disappointment is another thing completely and i can be disappointed about it but to be like angry at my body doesn't it's not gonna help anything it's just not gonna help anything 
So anyway, um, I have, uh, I'm going to set up an appointment for next week with, uh, my primary doctor, talk to him. I don't know. We need to do something because this is just not working. I'm not, and I don't really discuss this on the channel too much, but, um, I'm not sleeping very well. I mean, I'm sleeping for like one to three hour increments and then that's it. And then I wake up because I feel like I'm going to throw up and then that kind of like wakes you up a little too much. So you can't really go back to sleep right away. And with the medications I've been taking, I have had these like a crazy ass dreams um, where my mind is kind of like going a mile a minute. And the really crummy thing is that when I wake up from these dreams, I feel like they happened like it's real life it's very real situations um yeah it's just very strange so i don't sleep well which is why on the weekends i typically take a nap because i'm like kind of trying to recover from the weekend or not the weekend but the week and um you know normally when i nap anyways i'm only napping for like an hour to three hours anyways so I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm frustrated. I'm disappointed. I'm just, ugh. I mean, I talked to my mom and my dad because my dad was in the room or whatever when they were talking. Um, you know, and they were like, well, can't you, your doctors, like, petition your insurance company to cover it since it's, you know, not, I mean, it is classified as weight loss surgery, but, um, it's because you can't have the normal surgery for a hernia. And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess it's just, it's just frustrating like today that it's not covered or whatever. And, um, I just emailed my HR rep and, um, just asked about it and I'll see, I'll, I'll see the HR people tomorrow anyways at the office, but yeah. It's frustrating. I'm frustrated. Have I said that? I'm frustrated. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, uh, make an appointment for next week. I don't know when next week. I don't know when he's available. Also, something that's very nice is that, um, I can, whoop, here we go. Oh, <laughs> it already timed out. It already timed out. Um, my regular general doctor, I can just make appointments on the interwebs. Um, I mean, I can see him, you know, at the office, but I can make the appointment like now. So that's kind of exciting. It's just a regular office visit. Let's take a look at my calendar for next week. And next week, ooh, let's see what he has available. So yeah, he's got Monday and Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday available. Okay, and then he's off until the 30th. Okay, cool. <clears throat> oh, God, I don't know. I'm going to just do Monday and just get it the frick over with. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, the frustration station. All aboard. I don't know what else to talk about today because that's kind of taking my mind space a little bit. Um, yeah, just frustrated. Oh, and um, more frustration. Doyle, last night at like 2.33 in the morning, decided to pee on the bed. Like a whole pee on the bed. Not just a little something. Like P.P. Doyle hasn't been out in a long time, like, since I lived in Fargo. And I don't know what's going on. But I got to wash all the bedding today. Thankfully, I was home, so I was able to, like, you know, my laundry room's literally right there. Um, I was able to, like, switch out laundry and stuff, because um, it only takes, like, a couple of minutes. But my goodness, um, I don't know what his problem was. I mean, he seems fine. I don't know. Let's go find him. Oh, there he is. I see him. Let's find him. Let's see what he's doing. What are you doing? Is your tail wagging? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so in here, there is a big mess. 
because I don't have any sheets on the bed, nothing. Um, the sheets are actually in the dryer right now. And then I have this mound of clean things over here that I need to put back on the bed for tonight. So, Ugh. and I also haven't like really eaten anything. I don't know, I'm just complaining. This is like a complaining vlog. I'm sorry. Mm. I should not, I should not complain. I'm sorry. Ugh. I don't know. People out there have it like way worse than I do. And this is just, I don't know. This is just my life. This is what's going on in my life right now. And ugh. Ugh. All right. I'm just going to end the vlog here because I just, ugh, I'm not into it. I mean, I'm into the vlog. I'm just not into complaining. And it makes me feel icky. And I've got like a whole slew of crap to do tonight. So anyway. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this ramble and frustration fest. <laughs> it's like a frustration fest. <laughs> ah! All right. But I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Vlogmas. I'm going to go into the office tomorrow. Um, and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I'm just, you know, that's all I can say. I hope tomorrow will be a better day. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, share, do all those things those YouTubers tell you to do, and I'll see you later. Bye! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs>